I think the experience that we offer is a traditional cinema going experience. Um, you know, we've kept uh, the, the the plush seats, the curtains which are lit up, um, the organ. Um, I think uh, that's what keeps people coming back. I really love working at the cinema. It belongs to our family now, but it didn't when I first started working here because Philip's only bought it in the last few years. I started out um, as a projectionist here, um, gradually working my way up to general manager. And I think it's wonderful that it's been going in Woodhall as a cinema for 94 years. Um, it's amazing when I uh, travel around places how many people have actually heard of the cinema in the woods and, and know it's a bit of a unique cinema. I, I absolutely love working here and um, I really appreciate what it means to um, not just myself and my family but the whole community. You know, it's important to keep it uh, as a traditional cinema um, for Woodall Spa and the wider community. Uh, so here at the cinema we've got two screens. Screen one is the original one that's been a cinema since 1922. Screen two was built on by its second owner, Mr James Green, who was decorated in period style art deco fittings with wonderful trompe l'oeil pictures on the walls and so it still fits in with the style of the cinema. It's got a what we call rear projection, which means that the projector is behind the screen rather than behind the audience. And the reason it was built like that is because the main building was never conceived as a cinema. It started off life as a, a cricket pavilion um, and it was converted to a cinema in 1922, but the beams that hold the roof up were too low to allow for a projection room um, behind the seats. Here in screen one we've got a Compton Canestra cinema organ. This is a Compton uh, pipe organ made by the John Compton Company of London. It was one of three uh, consoles with the um, Japanese uh, lacquered work and figures uh, originally done by the London School of Art. Canestra organ is designed to uh, replace an entire orchestra so they were designed um, for the silent days when films didn't have soundtracks. There was a black one, a red one and a gold one. Uh, two of which have been destroyed in the war or by vandals at a later date, and this is the last one surviving. It came here to the cinema in 1986, opened in 1987, and has been playing ever since. It took two years to install it because it's not just the organ console that you see behind the scenes, you've got all the pipe work, um, all the electronics, um, and obviously it's old technology, um, so you know you can't just look at the manual really for something that was designed in 1928. <laughs> is a really important part of Woodhall's history. I think the history of the cinema dating back to the 20s, um, I think that is hugely important to, uh, to its continued survival. It's a real part of the community. People enjoy that they can come and um, see in the foyer all um, the pictures of how it used to be. It's a really important part of our life. We're really proud of it. Multiplexes are great, but if you go to a multiplex, you could be in Lincoln, you could be in London, you could be in Edinburgh, you, you basically could be anywhere. If you come and sit and watch a film in the cinema in the woods, you can only be in one place.